Hi everyone, my name is Natalie Zoloff and I'm the Payment Solutions Manager here at Avino Group. And today what we're going to talk and cover is the integrated payment solutions and why they matter in the business aviation industry. So we will talk a little bit about the must-haves, the challenges that we see in our industry, and we will as well talk about a little bit more of the data metrics and then the trends in our industry. So when we talk about the business challenges, to start off with that, um, as we all know in our business and aviation industry, the payments are at the core of our customers' business. And with that being said, they of course are being filled with unforeseen challenges that we do see on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, if we dive a little bit deeper into all the business challenges, just a couple to highlight there. We are in a very high volume transaction payment volume industry. What that means is being in a high volume payments industry means also that we have cannot foresee always the challenges with security and compliance checks, right? We also talk about um, fraudulent activities, whether if it is wire or credit card frauds. We also would like to highlight the hidden fees and unclear costs that unfortunately come with a credit card transaction, international payments, which we will cover a little bit um, in more detail here down the line. And also important and most important is who do you talk to, right? Who is your paying customer? We do support, of course, in our industries, the B2B and B2C side of things. And when we talk about trusting your customers and vetting them, this is what we all would like to see within our trusted payment network. As we all know, we are in an ad hoc and on-demand business industry. And what that means is it does, of course, come with challenges when it is ad hoc or on-demand charter payments or charter requests. With that being said, we did pull some data for you. And as you can see here, the number 46% that we see of fraudulent transactions within our industry. And that of course comes with whether if it is, you know, abuse of credit card and or fraudulent wire transaction, this is all being embedded within the 46%. To go a little bit more into detail in regards to the ad hoc demand and you know on-demand charter payments, we did break it down for you within a percentage. And what comes up is really a high number of 31%, which covers charter requests and payments within 72 hours. What that means is, of course, very um, important there. Will I get paid on time, right? Is it a weekend trip? How can I collect payment before the weekend? Or and or how can I ensure that I will get paid after the weekend? Weekend when we talk about credit card payments, credit card holds, as well as wire transactions the next or same business day. And then when we, of course, talk about the most important part is, of course, who's your customer, right? Whether if it is B2B or B2C, we want to highlight that it is for every company, it is important to vet your customers, right? Who is my customer? What is your audience? How is my customer going to pay you? And or will my customer pay me on time? It's very, very valid questions and concerns that in our industry is always very much highlighted within our conversations with customers. Again, one more time highlighted in the slides, how do I trust the paying customer? Will I get paid on time? Will I get paid in full? What are the payment terms? We always like to highlight with our customers to always be upfront and highlight your payment terms whenever you send out your contracts and of course your payment terms. Then when we talk about a little bit, as I mentioned up front, one of the challenges are international payments. When we talk about SWIFT payments, which are international payments, right? Um, there is a breakdown between the European side and the US side. And with Europe, with 25%, we see a lot of the B2B and B2C side being paid um, via international payments. In the US, it's a little lower amount, but still with 10%, we do f see that there is a lot of international transactions going on. And again, with that being said, when do I, you know, as a, as a seller, do I understand when I, when I will get paid? What are the hidden fees, right? Within the SWIFT um, channels, there is intermediary banks and a lot of hidden fees that most of our selling companies are not always aware of upfront. 
So we want to ensure that our customers are always educated on that as well. How can you collect international payments in a secure and fast way? And let's talk a little bit more about the fun stuff, the trends in our industry. Um, when we talk about the e-commerce side of things, we only understand from most of our customers what their big expectations are, right, for this in the upcoming years. Everybody, regardless if it is a buying or selling side of the business, everyone wants a seamless workflow and a secure and compliant way of collecting credit card information and or any other payment data. As we also hear and as we are in the luxury space, we only understand the pain points of the customer. Again, regardless if it is the B2B or B2C side, we do see with a skyrocketing 78% of consumer luxury that customers do want to have a seamless, secure way of making payments out and they do want to see the online presence of the buying or the selling company. So with that also to highlight, the customer wants to understand, was my credit card approved? Was it authorized? Was my payment confirmed? Do I receive a receipt? Um, you know, it's all questions that are both on the payer side and of course on the seller side. And then we go a little bit more into the digital payment, right? This is what it all comes down to of where the trends are headed. As we have a very outdated, you know, way of collecting payments where we do manual credit card transactions and or, you know, sending and sharing uh, manual credit um, wire instructions, we do want to ensure that there is a better way of communicating between the buyer and the seller, um, ensuring that there's faster payment ways and also ensuring that there's easier cross country payments. Again, it all ties back to the local and of course the SWIFT channels within our industry. And this is a little bit to highlight of where the payment industry is headed. Post-COVID era, we do see the payment space, especially the digitized payment space is growing and it's an always competitive landscape. So you do want to understand as a company, where do your business needs fit in? And also, of course, finding the right fintech company for your business needs. Again, this is where we come back to all of your business challenges and how does your trusted partner fit in to serve your business needs and service all these challenges and accommodate them. Again, we're talking about a simplified workflow for your payment side. We're talking about the vetting of customers up front and ensuring that payment is received on time. We want to ensure that you're up to date on fraud and security options, all proactive, not being reactive when we talk about disputes, chargebacks, fraudulent activities. We want to ensure that our customers have the most easiest and secure workflow um, on their behalf. We also want to highlight that we are always evolving and challenging in regards to feedback that we're seeing from our customers. So we do, um, we're creating a more seamless workflow, which we call the online booking. So please, please do not hesitate to get out, talk to our experts here in our booth and talk about what we are working on currently and where we're evolving to. Thank you so much for listening in.